What's up, YouTube? We're on another walk. It's raining here in the jungle, and we're going to talk about another peptide. I've been getting a lot of questions because I posted about that I was taking it about Samax. So we're going to dive deep on this peptide, talk about my experience, pros, cons, dosing regimen, the right way to take it, because I originally did not like this peptide, but I've since changed my stance on it, and we're going to talk about that. If you don't know what Samax is, it is a peptide that was discovered by the KGB, synthesized in Russia, actually. And what the Russians figured out was that if you isolate a certain chain of an aminocorticotropic hormone, I'm not sure which exactly, which <clears throat> one exactly, but they found that they, if they isolate this part of your, it's part of your adrenal response, a hormone in your adrenal response, that you get a stimulant-like effect, it boosts brain-derived nootropic factor, BDNF, and you get this nice stimulant boosting effect, cognitive enhancement, without having the bad or unwanted effects of the adrenal hormone. So you're not super jittery, you're not anxious, you're not, your sympathetic nervous system isn't jacked out of control, but you are energized and cognitively enhanced, and it is boosting brain plasticity, neurogenesis, all these things that you want to be functioning at a higher level. You know, if you're a KGB agent, you're gonna wanna be on top of things so you don't get extracted by the CIA and tortured. So the Russians discovered this, and now a lot of people, including myself, for the past month, use it as a nootropic, as a cognitive enhancer. And I like this peptide for two reasons. One, what I just talked about, you get the cognitive enhancement of this certain chain of amino acids that boost neurogenesis. So you're forming new neural pathways, new brain cells even. You're able to think more creatively. You're able to sustain longer in-depth concentration. And you have more energy. So it's a gentle stimulant. And it also makes you more sensitive to other stimulants like coffee or you know, if you're prescribed Adderall. Any other stimulant, it's going to raise the water line in your brain and allow more cognitive enhancement. Two, I like this peptide because unlike other compounds that you can take, even other peptides, the risk to reward ratio is pretty good in my opinion. There really are not many downsides for this peptide. It's not FDA approved like most peptides, which that's a whole other conversation on why is it not FDA approved if it has benefits. In my opinion, big pharma, there's just not a lot of money in big pharma taking a compound through clinical trials, getting FDA approval stamp on something that is enhancing life because big pharma mainly makes their money from solving problems. So if you have cancer, that's a problem. They can bring you back up to baseline, but they're not really in the business of enhancing people. You could go down the conspiracy hole and say that the elites that control the world don't want you to be enhanced mentally. But I think it's probably just more simple that Big Pharma isn't gonna push a lot of these peptides through for FDA approval because they're not really solving a problem. They're not necessary for you. Like if you have diabetes, you need to be taking insulin constantly. So they have this recurring revenue of your insurance is paying for the medication. Whereas with something like this, it's not necessary and they're not going to have that constant use of the medication unless you die from insulin resistance or some other disease. But that's just my opinion on the peptide space, not the point of this video. As far as Samax goes though, the risk to reward ratio is really good. There are basically no downsides from anybody that I've ever heard of that I've experienced myself. Pretty much zero downsides. It's helping your brain, helping your brain health, promoting neurogenesis, I've noticed that I just have more energy overall. It's supposed to have lingering downstream effects once you stop taking the peptide. So if you take it for two or three months and then you stop, it's supposed to keep that waterline elevated of your cognitive performance, which is awesome. And like I said, really doesn't have many downsides. So I like the peptide. It is tricky to use though. And that's what we're gonna talk about next. There isn't a ton of information, a ton of studies, well-documented practices in standardized, use, <coughs> standardized 
uses of using the peptide. So I, when I first got it, I also got the, the modification of the peptide, which is it, the normal peptide is Samax. I use the in-acyl amidate Samax. So it has a couple things added on to the amino acid chain that just make it more stable, increase the half-life, and it's supposed to in increase its potency. So it's just a little bit stronger. But I've read, even for normal Samax, they're supposed to take in between 200 to 500 micrograms. So I, I hear a lot of people saying they take 250 micrograms. So that is 0 0.25 of a, of a milligram of the peptide. I, I got the peptide, I was taking it at this dose. I noticed a very small cognitive boost, very subtle. If you would have dosed me in my sleep with it right before I woke up, I probably wouldn't have even noticed anything different. You know, if like a mosquito bit me and delivered the peptide, that'd be a cool idea in the future. But if, if a mosquito did that, I probably wouldn't have even noticed that I had the peptide in my system at this low dose. And that's what most people are taking. So I took that for a few weeks. And then about a week ago, I said, this is not doing much. It's very subtle. I had a friend ask me about it and I was like, yeah, same max, like it's decently expensive. I spent a hundred dollars for 10, 10 milligram vials, decently expensive. And I'm not really noticing that much of a difference. So I told him like, if you're short on cash, don't buy the peptide. Like you're going to get more return for more bang for your buck on energy drinks or some, something else, some other stimulant. But then about a week ago, I decided to just try doing two milligrams, injecting sub Q, injecting two milligrams of the peptide, which is like 10 X the normal dose that you see online. If you ask ChatGPT, if you watch TikTok, again, it's not FDA approved, so hard to find, you know, standardized practices. Anyways, I take two milligrams of the peptide and I was immediately like, wow, this is what it's supposed to do. This is what it's supposed to feel. Night and day difference. I actually noticed that I had taken the peptide and for, for hours, I took it this morning too, two milligrams again. And that was like six hours ago. I still feel the cognitive enhancement. My brain still feels like I'm able to sustain focus for longer, just sharper, more task oriented, just, you know, cognitively enhanced. It's still not life changing. It's not the limitless pill. Your IQ isn't up a million points, but I notice the effect of it. But a lot of people are taking it at this super low dose, 200 micrograms. And for me, that didn't do anything. So if you try the peptide, maybe don't immediately jump to 10x the dose. But that also speaks to the risk profile of the peptide. No other compound. If you took testosterone or tesamorelin or, you know, any kind of GLP, any other compound, and you took 10X, you would be in probably the hospital. But with Samax, because the risk profile is so low, you can take more. You're not really going to overdose on Samax. But I found that taking a way higher dose, in between 1.5 milligrams to 2 milligrams, you get a strong effect from it, and it actually does what the peptide's supposed to do. I do feel the increased focus, more stimulation, but it's not a it's not a gritty stimulant like something Adderall, even caffeine. You don't feel jittery. You don't get the downsides of a stimulant, which is why I like this peptide. So that's been my experience with it. Let me know in the comments if you take it, what dose you found best, because. I hear a lot of people recommending these really low doses. For me, it did almost nothing. Anyways, that's gonna be a wrap on the video. That's my experience with Samax. If you had asked me a few weeks ago would I rate this peptide, I would have said a five or a six. But now it's taking it this larger dose and actually seeing the benefits of the compound, I would give it an eight. It's a solid peptide, not life-changing, but the risk reward ratio, the downsides are, are essentially non-existent that if you have the money for peptides, I think it should have a place in most people's, at least try it and see how you like it. I am a fan. If you want more in-depth, one-on-one tailored help with 
taking peptides with enhancing your experience on the planet safely and you just want a good source for peptides because I don't give there, there's a lot of sources online a lot of places on TikTok where it's really expensive $70 for a vial $100 for a vial of some things they're all buying their peptides from the same place so if you want good sourcing if you want help with taking these compounds if you want coaching with fitness with developing a protocol i have a link in my youtube you can go there schedule a coaching call with me it's going to save you money on peptides you don't have to because i'm saying this because i get a lot of questions on sourcing in the comments you don't have to do a coaching call with me to get a good source i would just do research if you want to find a good source because all of these people on tiktok shop that are selling peptides they're all getting the peptide from the same two, three, four sources and they're repackaging it and selling it for an astronomically high price. Don't buy from those. I would recommend either A, doing your own research, going through subreddits, using AI tools to help filter out sources and finding these two, three, four really good sources or schedule a coach call with someone like myself or another coach to Get a source, if you want to take peptides, if you're serious about this, get a source that you're not injecting a Chinese peptide into your body, that you don't know what it is, or a very expensive alternative. So that's just my shameless plug by coaching call with me. If not, thanks for watching the video. You guys said you've been liking these walking talks. It's kind of like Steve Jobs always said that he would he always took meetings via walk. They would go walk and they would talk. I feel like it simulates the brain more, so you guys are kind of being brought along here virtually with me on the walks. Sub to the channel. I'm gonna be making other videos, dropping other videos this week on different peptides. So if you're interested in this type of stuff, more videos coming soon, really good ones. But that's gonna be a wrap on the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.